Welcome back to the Van Balian channel, guys. Today we head to Lancaster County, Nebraska, for yet another right to travel fail, where an arrogant sovereign citizen gets pulled over for no valid registration plates, no insurance, and a warning to stop driving. Right, let's get into the video. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Hey, it's not because you don't have the front plate, but also your plates are expired. That doesn't sound like a valid reason to pull me over. Yeah. Well, no front plate is a valid reason, and then the expired plates are also a valid, re a valid reason. So, do you have a driver's license with you, sir? Do you have a search warrant? I don't need a search warrant. Yeah, you do. No. Do you have probable cause? Yeah, the plates. That's not probable cause. Uh, there's no crime being committed. Okay. If you'd like to see it that way. Well, that's, that's law. Okay. I'll just have you stay here for a minute then and I'll get another car here. And sure, we'll go ahead. Take care of things, okay? Okay, first of all, and this is just a minor observation, but it says a lot about a person's character when they judge someone on the way they look especially when it's something as innocent as a ponytail and it's even weirder to add it in after the fact during the editing process and secondly no dude that's not nor has it ever been the law that the police need a search warrant to pull you over for driving without valid registration plates but i love how confident you are that you're right about this so please carry on Got two officers on the fucking scene for no tags. Well, expired tags. And there's that victim complex rearing its ugly head again. No, dude, you've got two officers on the scene because you refuse to comply with a lawful order to produce documents you are legally required to produce. Sir, go ahead and roll down your window. It's down. And I'm going to ask you again for your driver's license, registration, and insurance. I can hear you just fine. Uh, you're going to have to roll down the window so I can hear you. I can hear you just fine. Well, I can't hear you though. Well, that's not my problem. Okay, but I'm telling you the reason for this traffic stop is it's an unlawful. No front it's an unlawful and expired. Go so get. There's two traffic violations. I okay? want a sergeant. I, I have Deputy Sturdy here with me. Okay, so I want. I guess what's. I want a sergeant. Bring okay. a sergeant. What for? Because I'm requesting one on site. But where, what is a sergeant going to tell you any different? What's your what's your badge? What's your name and badge number? It's Deputy Wick, Wick? With Lancaster County Sheriff's Office. What's your number? Nine zero twenty one twenty two. Nine zero twenty one twenty two. So you can go ahead and call dispatch and ask to speak to Sergeant Gaston. I believe is on today. No, ma'am. Request him on site, please. What's that? Request him on site, please. Okay, but what is what? I guess I'm not going to understand what a sergeant on site is going to matter because he has more authority than you okay so if the sergeant comes out here then you're going to identify yourself and provide a driver's license have i committed a crime license. have i committed a crime yes driving without tags insurance and refusing to identify is a criminal offense in nebraska so yeah by definition you have and are committing a crime also, just because the sergeant has more authority doesn't mean you get to speak to one. You're not in McDonald's now. The crime is the violation of the traffic law that I pulled you over for. The Supreme Court's ruled in my favor, ma'am. Well, the Supreme Court says that I can stop you for not having a front plate and expired registrations. Show me the case law. So... Well, first of all, she's under no obligation to show you anything on the side of the road. And secondly, even if she did, you wouldn't accept it anyway because it wouldn't fit your narrative. And finally, if you think the Supreme Court agrees with you on any of the arguments you're making, then you've been badly misinformed. Are you going to comply with my request? No, ma'am. Okay. Because it's an unlawful request. Is your body cam on? It sure is. Okay. So is yours. It's fine. I know. What's this guy's name and badge number? Deputy Sturdy. Sturdy? Badge number? I didn't run the prison 
I don't answer please. questions. What's your badge number, sir? 902147. 902147. She stopped you. One. Is you got expired plates. You're not suspended. You're not anything like that. Um, it's registered to Robert, who's sitting right over there. It's not that big a deal. Let's don't make a bigger deal than what we have. You're not getting my ID without a warrant. Okay. Or probable cause that I've committed a crime. Okay. Not having plates is not a crime. Here, listen. You have your driver's license with you. Do you have a warrant? I don't need a warrant. You well, you need it. My lawyer told me to keep my stuff locked in a safe unless you have a warrant. Okay. Bullshit. That conversation with his so-called lawyer never happened. No lawyer in his right mind would advise a client to not produce a driver's license to law enforcement when pulled over for expired tags unless they had a warrant. Okay, do you have a valid license, which I know you do. So why do you need it? Um, so she don't know who you are. That's I not my problem. I, I don't need to are. identify to you. Okay. Um, will you acknowledge that you're Christopher? No. You are? No. Okay. And that's Robert over there, the registered owner. So, right. it's not that big a deal. Do you go by Chris or Christopher? I don't answer questions, sir. I reserve all of my rights right it's, now. It's not that big a deal. Okay. Can I have a lawyer? What's that? Lawyer. Lawyer? Yeah, I want a lawyer present okay. to be questioned by police. This is way, you're making a way No, I'm difficult. I'm standing on my rights, sir, which you took an oath to uphold. Okay, and I'm doing that. No, you're violating my no, rights not, right now. As a motorist in the state of I'm not a motorist. I'm, pri I'm, I'm okay. traveling down the road. Traveling. I'm not conducting commerce. Okay. I'm not for hire. Okay. It's Christopher and Robert. Okay. So just, just hang tight for me. You're not free to leave. <laughs> So now he finds out that everything he learned in soft sit school was a lie and a complete waste of money. These soft sit gurus must be raking it in. Alrighty, Chris, I have your citation for that no valid registration. Okay, there's a couple ways you can take care of it. You can appear in court on April 24th at 9 o'clock in Lancaster County, or you can pay the fine plus the court costs. You fill out the back and send it in that way. I am going to need a signature from you. It's not saying you're guilty. It's just saying you're going to take care of it right down there at that line. Go ahead and sign that. Get the copy now. Thank you. Of course, he signs the citation with all rights reserved UCC 1 308, which means absolutely nothing because not one of his rights were violated. Also, calling out the hypocrisy of him relying on the authority of a code, while at the same time ignoring state codes that require vehicle registration because, you know, reasons. Alright, let me go get a copy for you, okay? He's still not free to go, so stay right here. Can I have all three of your business cards, please? Chris, here's your citation then, and since I'm not able to improve you have insurance, I'm going to recommend you don't drive away because that's unlawful as well. Do you have business cards? I do not. So, but you need to get insurance or be able to show proof of insurance to operate a motor vehicle in the state of Nebraska. And okay? I say next time you guys need to get a warrant. No, we don't. You do. We do not. You do. Okay, just leave a park here then. Am I free to go? Okay, thank you. Hold that. Just keep it pointed at him. Mm -hmm. No, that should be in here. It's recording. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we 
right? Yeah. Bye, ponytail. Now. I think I've had enough excitement for me today. So yeah, definitely not a good idea to let this guy drive away like that, especially without showing proof of insurance for obvious reasons. But if the last sovsit who pulled this same nonsense in Nebraska is anything to go by, then they'll bury him in tickets and he'll be a regular guest at the Graybar Hotel. Right, thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support, I really appreciate it. And if you would like to support me and get early access to videos like this, then the links to do all that are in the description. Right, take care all and I will catch up with you in the next video.